The people who will derive maximum benefit from today's episode are the ones who are really new to the practice of law of attraction or maybe people who are just practicing for the last few weeks or months and they are open to change. The reason why I say this is because law of attraction practice is really, really easy. People try to overcomplicate it with layers, tools, exercises. All of these things are important. But what is more important is understanding the simplicity of the whole concept of law of attraction, manifestation and trying to implement the easy parts first. Now, why do I say this is because just because a particular thought process is easy, it does not have to be simply simple to implement. And even if it is simple to implement, where people go wrong is that they don't come with the right understanding, the right amount of dedication and most importantly, the right amount of consistency. Listen to this episode, watch this episode till the end and you will get exposure to five things that you absolutely must do very simple to implement that will boost your law of attraction practice to the absolute next level your manifestations will start getting an absolute dose of godspeed and you will not believe how easy it is to start implementing what your heart desires a very warm welcome to you this is episode 31 of manifest with paycheck to profit i am manish Aouja, india's first money mindset and financial literacy coach founder of Paycheck to Profit, a community built for millennials and Gen Zs to build a new relationship with money, to change their money mindset, eliminate their money blocks and using law of attraction to manifest more wealth, money, financial freedom, financial security into their life. This is the episode 31st of the podcast. I have covered extensive amount of topics associated with various aspects and uh, avenues of law of attraction but today's episode is going to be a really powerful one and the reason why i say that is because many people lose their faith in law of attraction or just disregard law of attraction thinking that if these concepts are so easy why is it that most people are not being able to manifest what they desire or if they are so easy and simple if everybody gets to know about this everybody will be able to manifest their desires Yes, that is the point. That is precisely what law of attraction is. It is easy. You don't need to overcomplicate it. There is so much abundance that even if everybody starts practicing, there is room for enough and more people. As I told you a little while earlier, it's all about the dedication, the practice that you do, the consistency that you bring to your practice and the overall belief and faith in the system. Without further ado, let me tell you what are the five uh, simple ways that you can Im- use to implement and boost your law of attraction practice. The first point is keeping your energy clean. Everything to do with law of attraction is associated with the energy that you bring to the table, the intention that you bring to the table. And how do you keep your energy and intentions clean? You have to make sure that there is no jealousy, there is no envy, hatred, comparison to your people who are in your ecosystem, your sibling, your spouse, anybody. You don't have to compare yourself to anybody. There's no need to. Uh, You don't have to go into the plotting mode. You don't have to enact any sort of evil behavior. You don't have to one up somebody. You just have to bring your best version ahead. You just have to do everything that is in your capacity that is needed to manifest your desires. Now, as I said, this is very easy and simple. The problem is people try to overcomplicate it because they say, I can't let go of my envy. I can't let go of my jealousy. I can't let go of my hatred towards ABC. Boss, you are only putting yourself under too much pressure, too much hurt by feeling jealous about somebody, by hating someone else. Don't do that. Find ways to let go of these negative emotions and you will see that your manifestations become a lot easier and faster. Second, do not just try to make a list of desires that benefit you. Try to find a way to understand how does your manifestation benefit your loved ones. The more selfless you are, selfless with regards to the impact of your manifestations to your loved ones, your ecosystem, your people around you. It's going to be easier for you to manifest these uh, goals because you will have the right motivation. You'll have the right mindset in place. You will have the dedication to make 
that manifestation come true. This will actually be your fuel on the days when you're feeling low. Seeing the fact that people depend on you, seeing the fact that when your manifestations come true, people who you love and care about will also benefit from these manifestations is a very, very, very strong motivating factor. And to keep your energies clean and to stay on the right path, I offer you a free membership into the Profit Clan. Now, what is Profit Clan? Profit Clan is an email community of uh, members of Paycheck to Profit where you get the benefit of getting access to uh, information about all the new episodes, new videos that are going to be released, uh, all the giveaways that I do, new freebies that are coming out, uh, invitations to free masterclasses that I do on a weekly basis. You get all of this information delivered to you directly free on your email. If you choose to connect with us on WhatsApp and Telegram, you can find the link to become a part of the Profit Clan, WhatsApp and Telegram in the show notes or in the description below the like button. So please make sure that you connect with us on Profit Clan. And if you're just listening to this podcast episode while you are driving or walking or just running your errands, I'll very quickly spell out the URL for you so that you can register it on a subconscious level and you can register whenever you get the time to do so. It's paychecktoprofit.com slash profit clan. It's very easy. P-A-Y-C-H-E-C-K-T-O-P-R-O-F-I-T dot com slash P-R-O-F-I-T-C-L-A-N. Paychecktoprofit.com slash profit clan. Or as I told you, you'll find the links in the show notes or the link in the description below, below the like button. The third thing that you need to take care of, the simple way to boost your law of attraction practice is to be very, very, very mindful about the kind of people you're spending your time with. The people that you spend your time with have a good and a very strong influence on your energy, on your mindset, on your behavior, on your habits, on your, on every aspect of your life for that matter of fact. If you want to boost your manifestation, look at the kind of people you're spending your time with. Do, are these people the kind of people who inspire you? You look up to them, you, you actually want to become like them. If that's not the case, try and find yourself better people. Enroll into coaching programs. Enroll into communities that help you connect with like-minded people. Focus on changing the people that you spend your time with. Does not mean that you have to break up with people that you are with right now. Or you have to uh, dissolute your family members. No, you don't have to do any of that. You just have to focus on becoming a better person. And who knows, your positive change will have an influence on your people. It's just a process. But... Try and spend as much time as possible around people who are much better than you. The fourth thing that you need to do is law of action. Please understand this. You may have the maximum amount of faith. You will have all the dedication under the sun. You have full confidence that you can manifest everything that you desire and then some. But if you don't put the necessary amount of action, if you don't move yourself, if you don't get into the process, if you don't get your hands dirty the proverbial way, you are not going to be able to move the needle. You have to, have to, have to put the work. There is no substitute to this. You cannot find a shortcut. You cannot find a silver bullet that is going to put you at the start of the race. No, that does not happen. Everybody has a uh, equal ground. Everybody has to put in the work and you are no exception in the universe. For that matter of fact, the more amount of work that you put in, faster, smoother, more uh, effective will be your overall journey of manifestation. So please do not take this lightly. The fifth and the most important point that I want you to focus on is benefit of others. Whatever you do, how does it benefit your customer? How does it benefit your ecosystem? How does it benefit your uh, people who you don't know? How do you plan to contribute to people who are a part of your society? This is very different from your loved ones. Your loved ones you have a very strong sense of emotional connect with. But what about people who you have zero emotional connect with? You still have to be generous. What is abundance? Abundance is knowing that if you need 10, the universe is giving you 100. Now, what do you do with the rest 90? Keep 11 units to yourself, 12 units to yourself, 15 units to yourself. But you can give away 85 units. And you will only be able to give 85 units when you know that you need 10 and the universe is gifting you with 100. And you need to understand that it is not going to happen on day one. 
if you are listening to this podcast till this point yes i understand that at the moment you may be going through an episode of scarcity at the moment you don't have enough but only when you believe in the fact that yes you can put in the work yes you can be a very strong force towards the universe will you be able to create a vision of manifestation that is going to help you to feel that abundance and start looking at the factor of benefit of others before you benefit yourself this is actually a game changer at least this has been a game changer for me when i got into the coaching industry my reasons to get into coaching industry at some level were extremely selfish i just wanted to get into the industry because the profit margins were very good the opportunity to scale was humongous the kind of work that i'm doing is extremely new and it's very underrated in the country where i come from that is india but at the same time only when one of my mentors helped me change my mindset and he told me manish focus on people focus on giving away all of your content have i started looking at the whole concept of benefit of others and it is starting to benefit me so handsomely please do not hesitate for helping others please do not hesitate for sharing everything that you know please do not hesitate towards looking at other people's benefit before you look at your benefit this is the most important thing this is what has helped me the most and this is why i always keep my final points to be the most strongest points because only the people who are serious enough to stay dedicated towards the end of the episode should get the maximum amount of benefit again let me very quickly consolidate all the points for you they are very easy keep your energy clean benefit of your loved ones should be the motivating factor that keeps you going on your journey of manifestation spend as much time as possible with people who are much better than you do not compromise on law of action and how does your manifestation benefit others before it benefits you make sure of all these five aspects and you are bound to win you are bound to manifest anything that you can think of and much 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 more to help you or to give you a boost of what can i say a boost of steroids to make your manifestation process a lot easier may i recommend you to listen to the last episode episode 30 of this podcast where i spoke about five simple daily rituals that help you build faith and get better clarity now why is this important today i have exposed you to five points which are easy simple but they are going to be a challenge to put into practice you may have some issues of letting go of some sort of hatred towards others you will have some problems let's say trying to find ways of how do your loved ones benefit through your manifestations in that episode i talk about daily rituals that help you change your mindset in that episode i talk to you about ways that can help you look at the world beyond you listen to that episode even if you're somebody who has listened to that episode or seen that episode in the past revisit that episode to actually reaffirm the kind of knowledge that you have learned or reaffirm the kind of benefit that you have got from that last episode after today's perspective i hope this episode has added some value to you if it has please take a screenshot of this uh, episode wherever you're listening to this or watching this share it as a story on instagram and do not forget to tag pay to pro and mr emojical this will really help this podcast to reach out to more and more people and you will be a catalyst in helping somebody else fulfill their manifestations please do this it is going to be a very 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 big help that you can do to this podcast i may also request you to please give a five star rating to this podcast wherever you're listening to this podcast or just like the video if you're watching this on youtube yes if you are listening to us you can also watch all these episodes on youtube they get uploaded simultaneously and if you are watching this episode do not forget to subscribe to pay, manifest with paycheck to profit on podcast applications of your choice so that you can listen to these episodes whenever you get a chance or when you don't have the possibility to watch these episodes on youtube also make sure that you are following in uh, page to profit on instagram because you will get access to a lot of stories you will get uh, access to a lot of reels which help you tweak your money mindset get further understanding about the topic of law of attraction and learn how to eliminate your money blocks do not forget to follow page to profit on instagram also let me very quickly remind you 
to become a part of the Profit Clan. Just in case if you've forgotten, you'll find the link in the show notes or the description below the like button. Thank you so much for staying till the end. Thank you so much for supporting this podcast every week. I really, really am extremely grateful to you. I'll now see you in the next episode. Until then, please take good care of yourself. Keep going, keep growing.